Hi everyone, my name is Dara and this is Dear Hallmark. Thank you for joining me as we talk about some Hallmark Channel stuff. Um, this is the last day of our anniversary week. The one year anniversary for the Dear Hallmark podcast was on Tuesday. And I'm just incredibly grateful and so thankful and feel so loved just from all you guys. Thank you so much for your kind words and encouraging messages. And we're going to be talking about some Hallmark movies and mystery stuff today, namely Big Sky River. That premiered last weekend starring Emmanuel Vaugere. Vaugere. I've been trying to pronounce her last name right. And Kevin Smith. Um, just some, excuse me, some backstory. Big Sky River is actually the third book in a series. I have not read the series. The series isn't chronological in the sense that this story like there's more to the story within the book series each book is kind of a one-off but they're all about par this place parable montana um so in big sky river we have tara kendall played by emmanuel she's spending the summer in parable just to get away for you know a bit clearer head she she's a year and a half out of a, a toxic divorce and she used to go to Parable when she was a kid. And so she's like, let me get my little nostalgic life, go back there, get away from the city, the big city, you know? And so she goes to this small country town of Parable, Montana. She's taking care of chicken. She's going to a general store. She's living it. She's loving it. And then um, she bumps into the sheriff, Boone Taylor, played by Kevin Smith. And you know what I'm saying? They can each other's eye. They can each other eyes sometimes, and it's so like, <laughs> y'all. This movie was rated G uh, for grown folk. Do you hear me? They were they were letting moments breathe. They were saying it and letting it be said. They were letting you know what it is and what it isn't, and what it ain't. And I appreciated every moment of it. When she went to go to the saloon to see the country singer, and he asked her to dance for the slow song. She's like, no, I don't want to. And then you see the disappointment and they didn't just cut it off right there. Like you, they let that moment breathe. And you can, you can still feel his disappointment. You feel her feeling something of like, what is this I'm feeling? And then she looks back at him and then he looks at her. Show day. I was no more. I said, be grown in this place, please. Thank you. Next. And then there was also something about this this movie. Within the first probably eight minutes, I had this thought because of the scenery and just how the movie was, was playing. I love movies. It was something about the ease with this movie, y'all. Like, this movie was a stroll. It, it wasn't trying too hard. It was just being itself. It was a stroll. This was so beautiful. I... The scenery... I don't care. Two lick of beans about Montana and I wanted to go watch it. I'm just, I'm just, oh, can we talk about the scene, right? When her water don't work and then he comes over, right? And he was like, oh, this is the problem. And then she brings him into her house, right? And so she's giving him a towel so he can wash off, right? And then they have this moment where they're just looking at each other. And then it's like, <laughs> when I tell you, and then right after they kissed and they just kind of swayed into <laughs> I said y'all better go ahead with your grown self <laughs> you better go ahead with your grown self <laughs> Woo, my 
gosh, this movie was grown. And I loved it. They put it out there. They didn't mince words. They let it be, she let it be known. I like you, but I'm scared. I like you, but I don't know if this is going to work. What, here's, here's what it is. I'm falling for you and I'm trying not to, but I can't help it. Like, say what you need to say. Okay. Oh my God. Woo this movie I felt it in my back you see that I felt it in my back just like well get it then get it then like this was a get it then movie this movie was a get it then in the words of the Caribbean summer <laughs> bye bye <laughs> y'all do you see how this movie took on me in all seriousness I'm being a little goofy but for real for real can we just delete Splash of Love and 14 Letters from the record? Because we should they should have just gave us that weekend off. Why are you shoving? This is what I'm saying. Stop shoving movies down our throat for the sake of shoving movies down our throat. And you don't QA the movies. You don't, you don't fact check, not fact check, but you don't quality test the movies. And you just throwing them out here like a dang pinball machine like we're playing frisbee golf. And you're not checking it. Because having those two movies out, putting those two movies out right after Christmas in July, where you've already had an overly mediocre year and now we're getting this like this is what i'm talking about you literally should have just let us breathe after christmas in july and then give us this i mean loving the limelight whatever but like this is what i'm talking about this is the hallmark movies and mysteries i'm talking about i don't know what 14 love letters was this is what i'm talking about <laughs> i still feel it in my back <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. My gosh. And I liked, um, for, oh, oh, can we talk about why Peter Benson was the bum of a husband? I was so upset. So I saw that he directed this, right? And then when her ex-husband called, I was like, no, he's playing the bum. But, um, you know, he played it. He played that villain. He played that, like, you wanted to punch him in the face with a pool noodle. You know what I'm saying? Like, you wanted to just, like, catapult a whole box of Captain Crunch at his face. Like, you really did. He was obnoxiously horrible. And kudos to you, Peter Benson, for pulling it off, man. You better act, okay? My gosh, he didn't care about his daughter. Wow. This was another movie, just like North to Home, this is a pilot for a series. And I'm talking about specifically with this storyline. We need to see her now living in this town, fin finessing this new relationship with Sheriff Boone, now actually having someone, like, having a daughter because, and I, I loved even the complexity of that relationship because she was, she got married to her ex-husband because the daughter is the daughter is her ex-husband's daughter. She has no biological ties or now even marital ties to the daughter. But because the daughter was incredibly little when her and um, her ex-husband, I think his name was James, got married, that little girl is the only, like Tara is the only mom that she knows. So she literally grew up calling her mom. And now the dad is trying to get her to stop calling her mom because now they're divorced and she's not really her mom to begin with. But that's the only mom that the girl, all, all, like, that's the only mom she knows you know what i'm saying so even the complex like, we can explore the the deeper complexities with that and meeting his n wife because now he's getting married to this woman named bethany and what's going to happen when school starts because she's getting a new job this is a series let's press pause i know you just started production on that rodeo but let's press pause put big sky river into development my guy and then let's go let's run with this in, in fall and, and let's premiere this in fall 2023 so that the start of the 2023 school year can coincide with this storyline that she's starting her new job at a school that's kind of how i feel that's where my heart belongs. This movie's five crowns. This is the Hallmark movies and mysteries that I was talking about. Like I said, I don't know what 14 Love Letters was. I'm sorry to that movie. I don't know that movie. I, I, I wouldn't know that movie if it was walking down the street. Sorry to that movie. I don't know that movie. This is the, this is the Hallmark movies and mysteries that I'm talking about. Watch Big Sky River. It also, um, it can be, it, it, it had like... 
it can um come off as slow but when i tell you it's the best type of slow my gosh because of the richness of the storyline and the the openness of the dialogue and the maturity of the content hot dang in the can on an airplane to france that's all i'm saying all right um i wasn't expecting to get this riled up but here we are for more information about Dear Hallmark, check the description box. There's a podcast component to this. There's a website you can go to. There's a um, an Instagram, a Facebook. I do a book club where we read the books that the Hallmark movies are based off of. And I was contemplating whether to do this, but because this is the third in a series, I mean, technically we still could do it, even though one book isn't based on another in the series which is really cool but i don't know i don't know i don't know i'm a little bit particular i'm a little bit persnickety when it comes to that so we'll see but um my gosh on today this movie was it what did you think of big sky river have you seen it yet were you waiting for me to tell you what it was about and now you're going to watch it did you watch it live or did you watch it on the replay holler at your girl in the comments talk to me on instagram i do talk back talk to me via the podcast you want to know how you can leave me a voice message there is a link in the show notes of the podcast that will take you to a page where you were able to leave 60 seconds worth of your thoughts and then i could play it on the podcast and respond to it it could be like we're dialoguing or whatever you know what i'm saying so guys that's my thoughts those are my you know that's where my heart belongs that's that's what's still one up in the gumbo up here as it pertains to big sky river i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend we have two more movies coming up this weekend Romance and Style starring J.C. Elliott and Benjamin Hollingsworth coming up on Hallmark Channel on Saturday. And then Holly Robinson Pete's movie, Our Journey Ahead, comes on Sunday, Sunday night at 9 p.m. Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. So I will talk to you guys next week. Ciao, my friends.